Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a bit of a shopping haul for you. This is one of my favorite times of year to shop because it's when all the designers go on sale. And if you don't already, I recommend you follow me on Instagram, it's at a heated mess. It's where I post most of the designers that go on sale. A lot of them don't publish their sales online or on websites. It really is through word of mouth or shopping through the boutique or through text messaging sales associates. And so because I follow a lot of them on Instagram, I will repost in my story. So go ahead and follow me on there. So in today's video, I hauled a bunch of stuff, a bunch of sale stuff, and I thought I got a lot of great deals and I did get a lot of great deals, but designer sales are only a great deal if you keep the items. And I think almost all of these things that I got on sale, I will not be keeping. So I just wanted to share it with you so that you don't make the same mistake I did, <laughs> which is to buy things online that you think might look great, but then you try it out and it just doesn't work for you. So if you want to see what I got and what I will end up returning, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay, let's start with sunglasses. Designer sunglasses have a huge markup and I pretty much always get them only when they go on sale. I picked up a pair of Dior sunglasses that went on sale right before the holidays. So check those videos out. I picked up a bunch of Dior stuff that went on sale, but I got some Tom Ford sunglasses and I don't think I own anything from Tom Ford. So I was like, let me check them out. I like the design. Like I like their little logo insignia. It's not too in your face. It just has a little T on the arm of the sunglasses, but I got two styles and I don't know guys, I think I will be returning at least one of them. So the first pair came in this white kind of velvety case. And I got this because I was like, you know, I don't have pink sunglasses. So I got these. What do you think? I got these from Nordstrom Rack, by the way, and I posted this when they went on sale. Uh, you know, I kind of like it. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep these because I don't really, I don't think I have anything in this color and I, I do wear pink. Okay. That's cute. Yeah. I think I'm going to keep these. So there's a little T in the arm. Now these, I don't remember the retail price. I think Tom Ford sunglasses are around 250 to 300. These were on sale for $159. I already changed my mind. I think I'll keep those. So I got another pair. It has the case here. It's a black case. And this actually tells you the retail price. So you can see the original retail was $430. And then they were on sale for $159, I guess. So I got these. I just love cat eye frames. I don't know. I just think they're so flattering. However, these are maybe a little extreme. Let me try the one. Tell me what you guys think. Okay. It looks like I'm in the matrix. Ah, I really wanted to like these. I think they're too close together. Let me think. <laughs> I, I don't know if I love them enough. Like from an angle, it looks okay. But then from this, from the front, my friends think that they're a little crooked on me. And then I was like, well, maybe my face is just crooked. Can we just embrace our flaws, people? Okay, so those are my Tom Ford sunglasses. Oh, and then I got another pair of Fendi sunglasses. And it's the pair that I wear in almost all my videos when I'm in my car. It's square and I can't be bothered to go down and get it in my car, but it's square frames. And then it has the logo, the brown and black Zuka logo around the frame. So those I already own in the brown with the logo. And then I got it in black and I'll, I'll put up a picture. So the same frames were on sale in solid black for like 119, which I thought was a pretty good price. And I like the frames. I wear them all the time. I ordered them. They're 119, I think from either Nordstrom or Nordstrom Rack and they are lost in the mail. <laughs> so that is another fail. So yeah, so, so far I think we are three for three on things that I will be returning. Now sticking with Fendi, I got a pair of Fendi sneakers. These were on sale at Nordstrom. Nordstrom, I think, is still running a great designer sale online. So as soon as I saw these were available, I posted them in my Instagram story. So turn on notifications because they go really fast. I was able to grab a pair, but I was a little too ambitious with the sizing. Now these designers, their sizing runs all over the place. So I have kind of a range of shoe sizes that I can work with, I guess. I'm usually a size six or a size European 36, I guess is the equivalent. And, but I can wear anywhere from 35 and a half to 36 and a half, depending on the style. So I ordered a pair of sneakers and it is in the size 36 and a half and they're too big. You guys, they are too big, but it is this pair right here. These are just the Fendi Vertigo sneakers in black. It's kind of like a mesh upper. You can see, you can see my hand through here and they are too big. Like these are too big. And on top of that, 
the style is okay. Like it's okay. There's the back. I like when it has these little loops though. I think that's really convenient. But yeah, these are too big. My foot is completely slipping out. I mean, I think the rule is that you should be able to fit one finger in the back comfortably, but I can fit my whole hand with my thumb back here <laughs> and my foot. So unfortunately these did not work out. If you were able to snatch these up from my Instagram stories then, and you like them, then, you know, it's a great deal. These retailed for $7.50 and they were on sale for 450. But again, it's not a great deal if they don't work for you. And unfortunately these do not work for me. So I will be returning these. Now, another pair of shoes that did not work out for me are from Dior. One of my Nordstrom essays messaged me that she had a pair of Dior shoes that were on sale and she thought they were in my size and it was the last pair. It wasn't even published anywhere. So I was like, oh my God, let me snatch it up. And again, I was a little bit too ambitious <laughs> with the sizing, specifically with Dior, their sizing really does run all over the place because sometimes they can be really big, especially the heels, but with the sneakers, it was too tight. I ordered it in a 35 and a half. It was the only size that was available and it was on sale. And I loved the design because it was something that matches an item that I got from the holidays. It is a pair of the Palm walk into your sneakers. And this blue palm design matches the palm vanity that I got over the holidays, also on sale. So this was 40% off. And so I was like, how cute if I get a matching pair of the palm walk into your sneakers. As soon as I put it on, I'm, which, you know, I could fit it, it was fine. If I took a step, it was too tight and too uncomfortable. It was rubbing against the back and against the, you know, balls of my feet. So. It just didn't work out. And this was a great deal also. So originally, I think this was marked down twice. This normally retails for $9.90 and it was on sale for $3.96. And I was like, if this had fit me, it would have been great, but it just didn't work out for me in this size. So yeah, this is the 35 and a half and I just, I can't make it work. I am over buying shoes that don't fit me. So unfortunately, these Dior sneakers were too tight and the Fendi sneakers were too big. And finally, the last two items are bags and they are from Fendi and they were on sale and they would have been a great deal if I really liked them and if they worked out for me. But unfortunately, it just didn't work out. So the first one here is the dust bag. I got a Fendi belt bag in the yellow vertigo print. This was on sale from $11.90 and I got it for $8.33. So, and you guys, I really wanted to like this. I have had a men's belt bag or bum bag on my wish list for a while and I just have not found the right one for me. I really wanted to like this. I think the size is actually great for me, but I think the size and in this color, it just is too much. It's just too much. I posted when this went on sale on my Instagram and my YouTube community tab. And one of my followers also bought this. And she told me that when she put it on, her son told her it looked like she had a banana strapped to her chest <laughs> because it was so big and yellow and bright and it just didn't work out. And I said, oh my gosh, that is so funny. So this is how I would usually wear it. I don't know. I'm still kind of on the fence about it. What do you guys think? I like the style. It just, I think in this color, it just looks so big and maybe so overwhelming on me. I don't know. I don't think it's going to work for me. Is this, is this good? I'm just like not in love with it. And even though it's a great sale price, you really need to be, you know, in love with the bag. I guess it really is meant to be worn as a belt bag, you know, just straight across your hips and not slung over your shoulders the way I would, because then what would end up happening, and this happened with my Gucci, fanny pack belt bag, like the old school one. At some point, because you're putting all this strain on the bottom part of the canvas, it starts to rip because it's not laying the way it should, if that makes sense. So I think I will be returning this also. And then the final bag, also from Fendi, also from the men's line, also from the Vertigo collection. I got a Fendi men's Vertigo backpack. Isn't this so cute? Ah, I just think it's so cute. I actually own a pair of the Fendi Vertigo shorts, which I think are so comfortable. You know, they're real great for the summer. I just, I wanted a backpack. You know, when I'm with my kids, I just think that it's easy to use. And I just thought that this was so cute. I just thought this would be really practical. But when I got it, I just was like, eh, it's okay. I don't know. What do you guys think? It has a big pocket right here. It has a huge main compartment, really big oversized zippers. There's the inside, it was stuffed, I took it out. It has a slip pocket right here and then a zip pocket in the back, which is really big. And then on the side, it has these sporty little elastic straps that I guess you could put a water bottle or something, maybe an umbrella. It has a D-ring. 
This is the back. It has the same little elastic strappies. I guess I just looked at it and I was like, eh, I don't know if I really need a backpack. I'm looking up on my shelf because I have two LV backpacks. They're not the easiest to wear because maybe it's with my hair and just getting in and out. It can be a little cumbersome, I guess, but let me show you the size. Okay, so this is it on my back. This is how I would wear it. <laughs> let me show you what it looks like fully. Okay, that's it. So yeah, my Fendi backpack. What do you think? Is this, a, is this a mom bag? Is this a travel backpack? I'll let you guys weigh in with your opinion. Let me know what you think of this Fendi backpack and this Fendi bum bag. Now this was on sale, but it wasn't like a huge savings. And that's also why I'm kind of like, eh. This originally retailed for $22.90 and then I got it on sale for $16.03. So that is just a bunch of luxury stuff that I got on sale recently. You might call this a luxury sale fail once again. So that is the tricky part about purchasing things online. Even if it is a good deal and it's on sale, it might not be what you envisioned when it arrives in person. And so I just have a feeling that I will be returning most of these. So let me know if you have been shopping these post-holiday luxury sales, if anything worked out for you, what was your greatest score, what is a fail, what stuff that you have returned. So I hope you enjoyed my luxury sale haul and fail. Thanks so much for watching and I will catch you in my next video. Bye.